this paint that it's you can't uh, use ordinary Dulux. You you can, but this is a, a, a lot less reflective. And ah, that's why, okay. So it doesn't sh look shiny. Yes. It's just, it, they're, they're a sort of a dead matte paint. Yes. I mean, there's other other, other makes, but this is the one that we particularly use. It is fireproof, but that doesn't matter on out here. But it might a lot in, of places. on the stages. Yes. We're supposed to use but fireproof paint. See, I'm just looking at our wall there, over there. And how many colours on an ordinary bit of pot soil stone wall? <laughs> Hundreds. I mean, yeah, it is, isn't it? It absolutely yeah. is. And yeah. you managed to copy that incredibly. Absolutely incredibly. So you have been I mean, how many paints on a piece of wall like that? It, it's endless. It's, it's as many as you can see. Yes. Yeah, but, um, you know, yes. What you look at, say you can see three colours, it's probably more like 23. So, so did you start off at art school? How did you how did you get into something like this? I actually started at a theatre school. At theatre school? I studied painting and scenic painting at, at oh, theatre right. school. So London. from school to, to theatre school? school to theater and not school. wanted to be on stage, talking about? You no, nothing, to be... uh, I couldn't stand there. <laughs> <laughs> you no, really wanted to see the yeah? That's what I wanted to be, painted, designer or painter. Oh, fantastic. And I, and I just fell into the painting side of things. Yeah, yeah. 35 years later. I'm still doing it. I didn't think you were better so. after those five years, unless you left school very young. 18. Well, that is amazing. <laughs> that is amazing. No, it's an extraordinary job because I'm always going out and tapping things. And can you turn <coughs> that one over for a minute? Because that is, see what happens? It's unbelievable. It looks like bricks or yes. stone, stone, cotton stone, stone on the yeah, other side. Absolutely. Same it's with that. Fun. Fun. No, I think all that's fantastic. Fantastic. Mm. What have we got to do today? Have you got to make the wall more, a little uh, bit more weathered? Yes, we've got to match that, try and make that look like it's uh, a bit cleaner. It's all got scuffed and damaged, so we have to repaint that. Yeah. And so most of the stuff is stored. Where is that? It's, it's in Oxford somewhere. Oh, is it? This, I think it's near Bister. Okay. Actually, there's a big storage that, that yeah. all this stuff gets. And you have to be very organised so you can lay your hands on things. Like the we'll cover try, for the dog poop we'll it, yeah, yeah, which is brilliant. Well, all this stuff, is, is, it, it, it all has its own little storage area. And yeah. Each year it comes out back to the studio to Ealing. Yeah. And we sort it out. We sort okay. it out yesterday, bring it, because we know it now so well that you just, you just yeah. bring it all out. Yeah. And it, it and is this a nice in. place to be, apart from the weather today? Well, we love coming here, but um, we've only had one year of, of sun. The rest of the other five have been rain every time. <laughs> Isn't that it's all right. It's looking all right. It could yeah. be worse. This is top April weather, isn't it? Mm -hmm. So you've got to do that. What else is going on? Um, the church sign's got to go on. The, the, oh yes. There's all sorts of that. That other piece of stone there goes on that covers the the streets of the sign there. Oh yes. That just sits over the top. Yeah. Yeah. Palette. Palette of paint. Retouching it every year. Uh, tilt, tilt the palette over. Let me just see. Just all the different colours. Yes. And because um, it gets bashed up when it's in storage. And um, yeah, we just it matches into the sandstone of the wall. Yeah. So yeah, it just gets redone every year. So. Yes. <laughs> yes. And you do an incredible job because it's completely convincing. <laughs> Absolutely well, convincing. It's, it's amazing what a bit of um, platform can do um, yeah. and a bit of paint, really. Yeah. Um, cool as all. <laughs> Absolutely. So, I don't think, um, and were you, did you start off at theatre school or did you no, start I at art school? No, I started at art school. Um, I'm actually a fashion textile designer. I specialise in printed textiles. And um, I, um, I used to be in the rag trade years ago. Did you? But um, I learnt to paint on my course and we, we did lots of painting and then we took it through to design. Yeah. And, um, yeah, so I, when I left, I sort of went straight to the rag trade in, in Chelsea, in London and stayed in that for about five years and then that all started to fall apart in the late 80s, early 90s. It was a real big crash, wasn't there? And um, the other side of my training was interiors and that's when everybody was having murals, restaurants were having murals, people were swimming pools were having murals. So, because I'd learned to paint, so I went and did all that sort of thing, all the special paint effects, painted people's kitchens, all that sort of thing, and that lasted as a trend for a few years and then um, 
that sort of dried up and um, I started doing some bits and pieces on film and television and I used to paint backgrounds for advertising shoots, I used to do a lot with stills photography for food companies and um, other advertising companies. And, um, and I also paint abstract paintings as well. So it's, at the moment, it's a whole mixture and I've, I've gone back to textiles as well. I make duvet covers and print them and I've got my abstract painting to a bit of film and TV. So Fantastic. you've got to be a bit of a jack of all trades to survive at the moment. It's tough out there being creative. So, yes. you know, and I wouldn't want to do anything else. I don't think, because I think it's a really fantastic gift that you've got. Well, it, it's, you know, you do learn your trade, you, yeah. you do, but you, you've got to have a, some sort of natural feel for it, I suppose, and, and an eye for colour really, really helps. Um, but, you know, you can learn it, but the, the, the sad thing is, is there's not enough young people coming into the business to train up, and so we're all sort of, you know, going to be a sort of dying art, really, because... A lot of stuff's going digital, although I don't believe it will all be digital. And there will always, especially when there's always going to be period dramas, and you can't always CGI something in, or, you know, it, it costs too much as well to what do it. What you need is an apprentice. Absolutely. And what you need is something like Carnival Company to pay for an apprentice. They won't, though. <laughs> That's the problem. The trouble is, when you've got such a tight schedule as we have, we don't have time to train in for the It would be great to have an apprentice, Nick has wanted to take a young person on for, for the last sort of five years, really. Um, but there's, there's the, not the budget for it, so, you know, we can't do it. In an ideal world, it would be great, but he started at um, theatre school in Crouch End, and uh, he was in rep for a while up in Oldham, in, in, um, worked in theatres, and then straight away he applied to the BBC uh, to start working there and he, he was there for many many years he, he went there in the 80s and the BBC was really the best apprenticeship you could get anywhere um, to learn the sort of skills that you need to be a scenic painter that there, there's nowhere better than the BBC and even people is that look, still true it is actually yeah, they, they don't take on people anymore because they've all been made redundant and um, but we still meet people now, even in the film business and what have you. And Nick can do something. They go, "Oh, how did you do that?" You know, and, and they people don't have the skills. Yeah. So it really was. It was a fabulous place to learn how to do everything and uh, do it absolutely properly. Yes. But yeah, yeah. sadly, it's no more. Yeah. <laughs> what another loss, isn't it? It's yeah. a, a really... How often are you working on films? When you finish with Carnival. Well, you go we on then, to another thing with Carnival? Or? Um, no, no, because we're freelance, so okay. we have to start looking around for, yes. for other projects yes. to do, and you just pick up work where you can. Yeah. So I'll go back to my studio and paint, and Nick will pick up another TV job or film or something yeah. somewhere, hopefully. <laughs> yes, yeah. Thank you very, very, very much. That's a pleasure. Pleasure. title on this day. Security. Security. Head, head of security? Uh, oh, everybody's yeah. equal. Okay. Everybody's equal. Is that right? Yes, yeah. That means you're here from dawn to dusk, doesn't it? Uh, normally from 7 in the morning to 7 at night, yeah. Yeah, and then sometimes don't you have people sitting at me overnight? Yes, or there'll be somebody here all night now that's that stressed. Yeah. But yeah. when it does finally finish, tomorrow probably, and, uh, there's somebody here tonight. Do you ever have any trouble in Bampton? Uh, no, none well, whatsoever. You better touch wood. <laughs> so is it a nice job being in Bampton? Oh, beautiful. Yeah, it's a nice the place. O the only it's downside the of the Bampton is the paparazzi. Ah. Of, on my, my side of things. Yes. Yeah. But um, they, aren't they wherever you go? Don't you have that problem? Not always, no. They, they, get, they seem to turn up here, do they? They do turn up here, yes. They're oh, just a pain. Yes. It's your job is to keep them out, isn't it? Yeah. And their well, job is to get around you. Well, their their job is to try and get a picture to sell, yeah, to sure. make money. And I, it's lovely that the residents have a picture. You know, it's yeah. something to remember for the inconvenience and all that kind of stuff. But yeah. it's just them that they just think they can do anything they like. And, yes. and they're, it's a job. And it's I'm doing a job and they're doing a job. That's that's the only way to look at it. Logheads, yes. <laughs> so when you say the paparazzi, that's not local people. No, that's... no, no. The professional, we see them all the time, you know. So you recognise them? So yeah, can't... yeah. We know them. We know from one job to the other. 
it's not Downton, it's something else. And, yeah. Do you, know. you work for Carnival Productions all the time then? Uh, no, 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 we're self-employed. Oh, right. I, I did work for Carnival after this job last year. Yeah. We, they did another film, which I did. Yeah. For, I think it must have been, I, was, I think it was BBC, but yeah. Carnival are an independent production company, so. And they're all lovely, Gareth Neem and Nigel Marchant, I suppose. Have you met them while they've been down here? No, I've, no. So I've talked to anybody I meet, actually, but uh, yeah, I yeah. don't necessarily know them. I know uh, Sparky. Yes. Everybody knows Sparky because he got us to move our cars. He had to be really nice to everybody. Yeah, yeah. I see yours is down there. It is. When have I got to move it? Saturday night. That's right. It'll be done. Yeah. yeah lovely. Yeah. I mean, do you want to out the way before that? Is it the first? Mm, no. I no. don't mind moving it before that. I'll no. do it when I've I think I Saturday like night we've got a man in the Sanfords. Yes. Where we park the residence yes. up. Yes. Um, by then it would be lovely. Yes, okay. I'll do that. Yes. Yeah. So we're, uh, well, if you leave yours there, at least you know who it is. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah. So yes. I, there's a few few new cars from the last time I was here. Oh, are there? So I've been writing everything Have down. You so that's another of your jobs, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. And if I didn't, would you know where you know where I live? Yes. And you come and thump on my door at five in the morning, would you? Kn knocking nicely. <laughs> Walking through the field down to your place. Lovely place that you have too, because we were down there when we, we did that little bridge scene. You did, didn't you? Ooh. Yeah, yeah. Yes. We're yes. using your house. We really wanted we really wanted them to leave that little bridge for us. Yeah, I bet. <laughs> and uh, because it would have been lovely to get it because we're making a little bluebell wood over there. Yes. And that would have been really nice, but they wouldn't do it. Because it's I suppose it's substandard. It would be. For for tromping over it would yeah, be right yeah. for one would, They wouldn't want anybody getting hurt. No, no. And maybe a year or two down the road where it's Yes, gone rotten a bit. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. not if it was oak or something it might be different, but I would order one of those next time. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Last a bit longer. Yes. Are you no. from Wales? I am, yeah. I thought so. I am. Yes. South Wales. So is your no, name? no, west. West? No, yeah, I'm, I'm mm. Aberystwyth area. Oh, are you? Okay. Yes. Okay. I knew it wasn't North Wales. Oh, don't talk like that, do you see? We've <laughs> <laughs> mm. got one or two in Baptist, haven't we? <laughs> yes, David, the uh, vicar, he's from yes, Thanesley. Right. Yes. And Dennis, no, not Dennis, where's David? He lives down by the recreation ground. Mm -hmm. Ridian. Ridian. Yes. That's the one. Yeah, I saw him yes. yesterday. Yes, and there's um, Gary Gummer, also from Wales. But I don't know which bit. Yeah, we get everywhere, don't we? We, we get, get under it. people's skin. <laughs> <laughs> You're always smiling. It's fine. Yeah, it's lovely. So what's the next job after this? Mm, don't know. You don't know until it happens. Well, I'm on this till August, so... Oh, really? Yes. What, wherever it goes. Where's it going next? Uh, where are we going next? Back to... The next job after this is they're going to Ealing Studios. Uh, oh, okay. Yes. But I don't go to the studios. I'm back at Highclere next. Yeah. And have you ever had to have uh, fisticuffs with anybody? Or no, fling no. Fling yourselves at them or anything like no, that? No, no, no. We've had I've had a few little run-ins with the people I was just talking about. Yes. Yes. Which um, you know, they seem to want to take liberties, but yeah. well, that's their job. There it's their go. job, and mm. uh, it's my job or our job to try and stop them. Yeah. yeah. You know, you don't mind within reason, but when they got a camera in somebody's face that's trying to work and actually reading, oh. them, you know. Yeah, very difficult. Very difficult. Is your job also to stop people driving here when the wheels are turning, when they're actually filming? Uh, we've got traffic management. Oh, that's something different, is it? Yeah, traffic management. Okay. We let them know when we're turning. Yes. And um, try and keep it flowing as much as we can. Yeah. Not to inconvenience too many people. No, you're brilliant at it. I yeah. tell you, really, and very courteous, and that's really nice, really appreciative. Yeah. I haven't heard anybody, no, I've heard one person grumble about the film being here, but she grumbles at everything. Oh, yes, <laughs> so I think I know who you're talking about. <laughs> I might have to cut that Liv out. Doesn't live too far from here. Yeah. <laughs> might have to cut that out. I haven't seen it for a while, actually. <laughs> Are you supposed to be in the car, and you're walking about with pieces of polystyrene? That's it. Is that what you... Is that that's how it goes. <laughs> so at this time you're working on the War Memorial. Yep. And the pub. And the other pub? The, the post office. Oh yes. And then that, that bit the where the library is is the hospital. Yeah. And just try we have to hide some of the pipe work that goes into the houses because oh, they're yes. the wrong period. Three, you've got three carpenters in three the team. Three carpenters, yeah. yeah. 
call yourself chippies? The two painters. And two painters. And yeah. your job is to make the structure before the polystyrene goes on? It's not, it's not all polystyrene. Oh, is it not? No, that, that's done with a sand texture. The painters put oh. like a paste on there and then they put sand on it to make it look like stone. And then they add all the colours? Yes. All the fantastic colours that you get yeah. from the stone, from yeah. the mosses and things. So do you work with um, the paint at all or just you just do the woodwork? We only do the woodwork. Yeah. And are you freelance as well? Freelance, yeah. Mm. Yeah. And yeah, up at the crack of dawn, nobody ever sees your work, do they? They don't know. No, no. Well we're gonna yes. We work in Ealing Studio. Oh do you as well? That's where our workshops are. Yeah. We, where we make all this thing. And it, is it um does the Carnival Films have one studio in Ealing Studios or what or Only they Ealing. Only in Ealing. Yeah. yeah. And do you work for other companies as well? At well, studio? I could do, yeah, but this but is a long busy? job, so yeah. I'm 70 now, so I don't do it. <laughs> I, when I finish, I <laughs> finish on there and I have the rest of the year off. You finish on a high start, then? We start from the middle of January and it, we run right through to the end of August. Right. So right. I've had enough by then. Yeah, you will have. <laughs> but it's ending on a high, isn't it? Because it's been so successful, hasn't it? Oh, yeah. You, did you know that at the beginning? Pardon? Did you know that at the beginning it was going to be good? Um, I don't know really, they just take a chance. I think it, yeah. I think they had a reason, reasonable idea yeah, that yeah. it could take off, you know. Yeah, no it's brilliant because yeah. it's so popular. I mean we know because we have the VZ room in the old grammar school, yeah. we know how many people from all over the world come. Yeah. So it's doing fantastically well. We got all got presented two weeks ago to our future queen. Did you? Yeah. Oh, she came on set. I heard that. Yeah, she came. And you got Ealing. presented as well, did you? Yeah, everybody did. Yes. The whole crew. Fantastic. Not just the stars. No. Brilliant. Yeah, it was very good. She yeah. was very nice. Was she? Oh, good. She spent. They, they had to come and get her out of our workshop. <laughs> she loved it in there. <laughs> did she? Yeah. Oh, that's nice. No, oh, that's yeah. very, very nice. Yeah. Now, did, were you apprentice when you were at the Bead? No. 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 But somebody. I told went there when I was twenty-four. Did you? Mm. And. Uh, did, was that a good one to work for? Oh yeah, he was. In those days, the bee was the best. They turned out the well. They, they were the only ones that, till ITV come along. I mean, they they turned out the best work. Mm. Worldwide as well, it was. Yeah, yeah. Well, they're still. And now they want to shut it up, don't they? You know, we, they want to wrap it up, really, don't they? We have that feeling. Yeah. And it keeps on getting sniped at, doesn't it, and cutbacks and everything. Yeah. Yeah. They were lovely people to work for as well. You yeah. Know. And I was talking to one of the painters. Um, she said uh, that the apprenticeships that they gave were fantastic. So that's oh, yeah. why I wondered you were an apprentice. No, there. I wasn't, no. 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 Did no. you always want to be a carpenter? Um, well, when I, got, when I went to school, to secondary school, yeah, I, I took to the woodwork class and, you know, I think that's it. Yeah. It's just the wood, isn't it? I like, you, know. you liked working with the wood. Yeah. So it wasn't that it was in your family or anything like that? No, not at all, no. no. Is that polystyrene, that covering? Yeah. So, and that covers up the, um, the old pipes. You wait for that little bit to go on top of there. That's something special, that is, to cover that. <laughs> Here's Pinky. Where's Perky? Hello. You, you, you gone back to sleep again, Barry? I had a nice step of the look it. What's that all about, isn't it? That's just great. Nice when it's um, it was all full of flakes. It used to be a bush there. Yeah. Oh, there you go. I see. Our mission is complete. Have you just been painting the whole of that downspout? Yeah. 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 We'll have to put a wash on it tomorrow, make it look a bit more like lead. Um,